Well, hello. I uh, don't know whether you know what the Safe Z Rapid Travel setting is on your machine in the Vectric software, but I thought I would reintroduce you to it if you haven't looked at it for a while because I just experienced where I wasn't paying attention to that and I did some damage to my clamps and I could have done damage to more, my bits or my machine or something else. So I wanted to cover what the safe Z rapid travel setting is real quickly when you're setting up your Vectric software for your tool pass. You want to pay attention to that. Uh, if you don't normally pay attention to it, you can find a surprise like I did. So here's what was happening. I was making some molding. This is the example that I was making at the time. And uh, the way I wanted to make it was just a little piece of a sub piece. So I just wanted to test it out to see if it looked like I thought it was supposed to look. So I put two hold down holes here, two hold down holes here. They were countersunk so my bit wouldn't see them and I wanted to do a quick cut. So I set up the tool pass so I drill these two holes and then drill these two holes. So far so good. I came out here, I put it against my fence like I always do. I went to look for a side clamp. This is the normal clamp that I use. I found my side clamp. It wouldn't fit here. So I moved it out into this area and I couldn't find my normal blocks. Normally I have this block, I set that block in there, I tighten everything down, and then I can tighten the clamps down. Well, I couldn't find this block, so instead of looking for it, I was impatient and I was in a hurry. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever been in that situation, and this clamp was sitting right over there. So I said, well, I'll just use this clamp. I'm not going to cut anything other than those holes, and I'll put it right in the center between the holes and that way I don't have to worry about anything hitting. Put it in, tighten it down, and then I went to cut my holes. So the holes were set up to cut first on this side and then on this side. So I bring the, the work down. starts to drill. It starts to drill the holes, so it drills that hole, then it comes across, it drills that hold down hole, and then it exits the hold down hole that it drilled, and it starts to go across like this, from here, from here, over to this hole, in this direction. And you can see what happened. It hit this bit immediately and tore it up. Why did that happen? Because I didn't have the safe Z rapid set appropriately high enough to miss the clamp. So let's go into that in a little bit of detail so that you can understand that setting and how you can set it. Hey Shane, I don't know whether you can see the uh, silver aluminum chips there. That's what happens when you don't set your safe travel heights too high and you run into your clamp with your big honking 3 8 inch bit. Look at that thing. Fortunately, the end result was nobody got hurt except the clamp. There was aluminum shavings all over. My bit's a heavy duty bit, it was a 3 8 inch bit that uh, can easily mill aluminum, so it didn't get damaged, but the clamp didn't do so well. I can still use the clamp, but it will always be a reminder of that safe Z rapid travel setting. At this point, let's go through the software setup for safe Z travel. Here's an example of the molding that I was going to uh, try and cut. A little quick example if you've not seen the molding toolpath we can cover that in another video if you want to see that in a video please say something in the comments section but let me show you how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick preview okay so that's the sample I was gonna do and I was gonna put two holes here two holes here 
two holes here, two holes here, because the piece was a lot smaller. And I don't know where these hold down holes go. Let's see what they look like. So you see those holes there? This is not the exact thing. This is not the exact piece, but that was the idea. I was going to put hold down holes here, hold down holes here, and everything was going to be set to uh, cut this molding. Well, let me go to the, the hold down hole tool path, and I want you to notice something down in the right corner. Do you see this thing that says Safe Z? Safe Z is your Safe Rapid Z, and your Z.8 is your home position after you finish your cut. So the safe Z is what got me in trouble, and you can see it says 0.2 inches. And I don't normally pay attention to that, because normally I'm using my side clamps, and I don't have clamps above in the path of potential uh, tool path. In this case, I did, because I was drilling holes here, here, and here, and here. And actually, I went from this hole to this hole, and then across, and the clamp was sitting right here in the middle, and it hit the clamp. So what could I have done? If I'd have been paying attention, first of all, I could set this so that it's always above my clamp height. And so I could take a measurement and make sure that those aluminum clamps will always be cleared. Uh, I didn't do that because I don't normally use them, but in retrospect, that probably would have been a good thing to be thinking about. How do I set this safe Z height? Let's say I get to this situation and the safe Z height is low and I want to reset it. That's set when you look at your material setup. So under your material setup, if you come down to the rapid Z gaps above material, in other words, you can see Z2 or ZZ here, that's how high it will go when it's traveling from one location to the next during tool moves. And I have 0.2 inches, and for plunges I have 0.2 inches. The Z gap above the material is how far it will go after you finish your uh, movements when it's going to home. So I could have easily uh, taken care of that if I had noticed, noticed what my uh, Z, safe Z gap, my rapid Z gap was. I could have reset it here if I had, had thought I was going to use those clamps. So if you are using clamps, please pay attention to your safe Z and make sure, for example, make sure this safe Z will clear any obstacles for which your tool may be traveling over while it is cutting in rapid moves. Each of the tool paths have this safe Z. You can see that was my profile tool path. Let's look at my sweep profile. Even my sweep profile, they all have the same and they're all set in the setup menu down in this area. Please pay attention. Learn from my mistakes. Have a great day. As I said at the beginning of this video, I hope some of you found this information useful and maybe it can stop somebody else from damaging their clamps or bits. Anyway, since it happened to me, I thought I would take a quick minute to share it. I appreciate the time you invested in watching this video and if you uh, enjoyed what you saw, please like share and comment on the video and subscribe if you think you're getting good information with this channel. I appreciate uh, the audience and I appreciate uh, the work woodworking community that I work in and wishing you all the best life, the best day, and have a great week. Thank you very much for your time.